Hey guys, you got Mike here with the Tour Hangout. It's been a while, but I'm coming to you with a review of the 1.2 patch, which is about to hit hopefully in April, is from what we hear. What I want to go over really quickly today is the new customizable UI. Now, you've probably seen some videos about it. This is the default UI um, in game right now. It does look slightly different than default before to where you've got some spaces here, but here is the really cool thing. They've added this new feature to where then you can choose from different preferences or different types of interfaces. You can go to your extended quick bar, which um, makes it look just like it does in the current version, where you have a, a bar on the side, both sides, and then you've got your extended here, you've got your your action bar on top, and then your, I use remap mine, and of course I'm doing this slightly differently, you'll see here in a second. What's really cool about the new system in 1.2 is that everything is movable. If we come in here and we go to Open Interface Editor, you will see that we now have just stuff everywhere that we can move. We can move the mission tracker. We can move these different bars around. We can just go crazy and, and have a field day and lots of different options. You can create your own profiles within here, save them, and this is what I want to show you next. We're going to go ahead and shut this down cancel it uh, yeah we want to leave that so here we're in the default if we come back into the uh, menu here that's right here on the left click you're gonna see that um, they've got a uh, three defaults you've got the extended quick bar which is like this you've got the default which is what we're used to playing in, in tour now and then they added a retro which a retro is going to make things look a little bit more like some other MMOs that are out there with your target and uh, and pet um, under here, your mini map and your text and chat boxes down here. But the key here is you can now create your own. I've created one and I've called it uh, for this particular tune, Val 2.0, and I've just moved things around. I've got my chat window up here still. I've made uh, the menu bar slightly transparent. I've moved my tracker up into the upper right hand corner I've gotten rid of the background and I flipped my bars I tend to like them kind of like default I've taken the right bar and I've created a cluster bar here and now a really cool feature that is now in 1.2 is target of target if I click on uh, somebody let's see if somebody's looking at anybody and I can't get on right now because my mouse is not working, you can see that this particular person is looking at that NPC. So this is fantastic. We have target of target. Um, love this idea. Okay, so I've moved everything around, so this is a nice configuration. Now here's what's really cool and what I'm kind of really excited about happening once this goes live, and that is um, I will share with you the directory where you can find these files every time you make your own custom layout and then you can create as many as you want, different ones for different raids or or, um, or whatever you want to do. I've got another one here called Test. It's slightly different. Oh, I wanted to show you that real quick. You can do so much as, as far as even detaching the tooltip. You see it's now over on the right side instead of attached to the minimap. But these create XML files. These XML files can then be uh, sent to friends, they can then use them in their system. Uh, one of my guildmates, uh, Patrick, sent me his. He's been tweaking it uh, for quite a while here on the PTS, and it's called Main. And as soon as I loaded it up, this is what his layout looks like right now, which is a pretty clean layout. The neat thing is, look what it did with the chat. It already created the two different chat channels and put them on separate sides. He's got his command menu down here, target of target, and the two side menus down here. Uh, really interesting. What was really cool is that his system is set up for a much larger resolution than mine. My, my system's a 1080 uh, P system. His was a much larger, but when I put this in my directory, launched the game and loaded it up, it put everything in the appropriate places. So it looks like it's doing some smart scaling. So we'll, uh, we'll show you a little bit how to do that, but this is really exciting. Uh, I'm very glad that we finally have the availability to create our own custom UIs, edit them, move them around, and then we can then share them and, uh, you know, let people come up with some really wild, really cool ways of doing things. So this has been Mike with the Tor Hangout. Glad to see you guys. See you in game soon.